Good morning, Facebook. Um, just wanted to take a couple of minutes and kind of explain this random character you've probably just come across. Um, my name's Christophori. That represents Christopher, uh, the earthly vessel's name. Uh, that was the name my parents gave me when I was born on December 7th, 1977 at 1.27 p.m., 7 pounds, 7 ounces. And for a long time, I only had six sevens, but... There's been lots of other sevens in my life since then. Um, please don't call me. Um, I've just gained basically 5,000 new friends, and you all are interested in talking to me and and uh, contacting me. I get it. Um, but I, I, I don't have time in the day to make time for one-on-ones with all of you at once. Um, what's likely to happen is um, I'm kind of a meeting point, if you want to think of it that way. I have a lot of friends who are orphanage directors in Uganda, Kenya, all over Africa that I have worked with personally. Um, just going to share a little bit of my testimony. Um, last September, um, if you look at my 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 uh, my page, my my wall here, where uh, I'm up here at the top. See? Okay, that's my wall. If you look at my wall. Um, in my about section, it talks about I'm a shaman, and, and if you look at my my jobs and stuff, it says that I started that on September 13th last year. Um, that was after Queen Elizabeth died, that funeral procession. You know, I watched that, and something stirred within me. Um, it was almost as if God pulled out a starting pistol and said, "Go!" All right. So anyway, um, after that. Um, things awakened within me and I started to go back to some of my roots. I had previously in, in life, you know, six, seven years ago, started to work with people like Ivan and Justina um, Walagugo, Ivan Walagugo, and Justina Nangobi, who has since, uh, God rest her soul, passed on, and um, started some work back then with them and um, when all of this amazing stuff happened here with me and I started sharing it on Facebook. He convicted me. He said, you should be grateful to have breath. There are people that have died and you walked away from this ministry. And I was like, I did. Oh my, I did. No, I am grateful. So I, I ran back and started supporting him. And not only that, I felt so convicted. And God said, no, you, you've got some great works to do here, kid. So I stood up. Um, I stood up and I helped dozens, hundreds, hundreds of orphanages all over. I sent them meals. Um, one man, I, I bailed out of prison a couple times. Uh, it was kind of his own fault that he got put in prison because he was going in the middle of the night. He was so eager to have just gotten the money. Wanted to get there and get back for his kids first thing in the morning, but I was unwise in Kenya because they, they attack you in the middle of the night. So he got thrown in jail and of course, we panicked and we wanted to help him, but um, God blessed us through all of that, too, and allowed us to grow. So, um, <clears throat> this we and us stuff, the royal we. Now, if you think about it, Queen Elizabeth was a Lucifer, which is basically a scepter, a light bearer. That's what all of us are. And she was one who was nobly lit and followed Jesus. When she died, that light spread. Anyone who watched Big Ben and heard Big Ben tolling probably was also stirred. Um, you can't go back and watch it in the footage. They don't. They 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 muted that part out in the in the BBC coverage. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, anyway, God also at about that time inspired me. Why are you wanting to help Africa? Well. It all has to do with the weather. All right. So, as the earth turns, right? Let's see, make, make sure I'm turning it the right way. On the camera, it's, it's going to look a little weird because I think everything is reversed. But, you know, basically as the earth turns, you have the atmosphere, the air that sits on top of it, right? And when the earth turns, it actually kind of drags the atmosphere with it. And it creates something on the north that goes one way, and on the south that kind of goes opposite way, away, you know, or toward. 
whichever, it creates something called the Coriolis effect, which creates hurricanes. And part of the reason that that happens is because this whole part of Africa up here, where the desert is, it's a desert. There's no no green, no vegetation of any kind. So all the air that comes across here when the, when the earth creates that drag heats up. What does it do after that? Well, it comes over the ocean. Hot air causes moisture to rise out of the ocean. What, what, what happens, children, when that happens? We get a spin because of the Coriolis effect. What happens when that happens, children? We get hurricanes. Hurricanes. Okay. Why is that happening? Well, geographically speaking, yes, it's because of a desert. Why is the energy coming this way and creating that spin? Well, two things. If we focus on Africa to try to feed the people and heal the people, they're going to work on healing this up here. There's already de-desertification projects happening up here. We just need to help that. Okay? So, we that live here are a very blessed nation. And it doesn't take much to help support the individuals that live here. It takes a whole lot, though, to do all this. Okay? But that's what's going to stop the hurricanes coming and destroying this. Okay? So. That, in a nutshell, is where we find ourselves. Back in, uh, around Thanksgiving, back in late October, I took out a, a refinance my car. I got a, a, another loan for that. Um, and got a $3,000 loan and did a lot of good things in Africa with that, including purchasing some land and um, helping establish a, a group there. Um, so that, see, basically the, the, the problem they're having over there is, is oppression. Um, their government has killed a lot of their people, left a lot of children behind, and the children in the streets don't get taken care of. They just have to fend for themselves, so that you can imagine how those kids might turn out if not a loving, Christ-like, um, caregiving soul comes along and tries to help take care of them. So, you get my friends. Now you see why people like me exist to kind of gather the masses and, and say here's here's what God would like for us to do. In his day Jesus said to his disciples and I'm not calling you guys disciples we're all friends, we're all family, we're all brothers, okay? I'm not starting a cult. <laughs> Nothing silly like that. No, I don't have time for things like that guys. I don't have time for one-on-ones. I'm not going to be everyone's counselor. I have people in my life here in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, that need a good mended arrow to go around and help minister with them. So when you call, you're interrupting that. So please don't call. Guys, if you need one-on-one -on -one stuff, interact with the posts. And I might suggest you find some of my friends who run orphanages in Africa and interact with them because they, they are the ones who are going to give you your blessings. I'm just the one who brought you to them. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for blessing me with all kinds of friends, for blessing me with exposure for your message and your mission for us on this world, Father, to prepare things for your arrival. In Jesus' precious and holy name, I ask all these things. Amen. Now, what else can you expect from me? I'm going to share um, testimony. I'm going to share um, revelation that the Spirit lays on my mind and in my heart. Um, I'm going to share uplifting positive things to help you get through your day um, and hopefully you guys when you comment back and forth um, please just do so kindly um, this is a safe space there are kids that come around here I'm like kind of like a modern day Mr. Rogers as a matter of fact he's one of my great inspirations um, those of you who do this so and Rocky Wood Rocky Boy come on this is my this is my beloved German Shepherd Rocky. Come here, Bubba. Say hi, Rocky. Ooh, hi. He's uh, in training to be a service dog. He's actually almost all the way there. We're working on getting to take him into public places. So far, he's doing outstanding work. He loves his back scratch. You know, does his back scratch? Don't you, Bubba? Yeah.
Yeah. You want to play for a little bit? Oh, nice. That was a good catch, bro. All right, Bubba. We're going to play and let this video post if it'll post in 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Wait, let's see. Wait. There we go. All right. Bye, everybody. I'm hanging on my finger. Ah. I am kind of weird. All right. Much love and light, everybody. Peace and long life.